This is the Daily Pulse from Speak My Word Ministries. I'm Travis Zimmerman, and today's topic is what a billionaire and an unemployed man taught me about giving. You know, as we've gone full time in Speak My Word Ministries, and praise God for that, it's an answer to prayer, and, and God revealed back in 2006 that I would speak His Word, and, and it's been one of those things where God's just bringing along gradually, and this is the first year we've had an opportunity and the means to be able to go full time in it. Thank you, Jesus, for that. Thank you, Jesus. But one of the things that's required is to raise missionary support. And raising missionary support, as many of you know, is, is taxing, to use one of my mentor's terms for it, and uh, no pun intended at all. But, you know, you go around and ask people, you know, are you sensing God leads you to help support our ministry? And you know, we have many, many people who have done one-time giving, and we're, we have a couple people who are, who have decided to give regularly to our ministry. And praise God for that. You know, the Lord loves a cheerful giver, so no judgment on those who don't give regularly. But our job, and at least my job specifically, is to go out and knock on those doors and see who is sensing God's call to help support us speaking God's word to camps, conferences, churches, and homeschool conventions. Praise Him. So I had an opportunity, and I'm going to keep this nameless because I don't want to get embarrass anybody, but, you know, I had an opportunity to, one of my great uncles is a, is a billionaire, and he had an opportunity to see me speak, and I thought, okay, well, let me, let me approach them about this. And the reply came back. It was, it was polite, but it was basically, hey, keep moving on. I, I am already supporting, I haven't supported any ministries. I'm not taking on any new ministries. Don't anticipate taking on any new ministries. I suggest you work other prospects. And again, nothing offensive in, in, you know, in the language at all, but it's like, ah, shucks, you know, that seemed like that would, you know, I, I could tell after I, after I spoke that I inspired him, and again, thank Jesus for it. But yet, but yet, one of our dearest friends, they have eight kids, and the husband was recently unemployed. They have been supporting us for close to three years, you know, monthly giving, and I go to the mailbox there, P.O. box, and in there is this check. In there is a check, and it's, it's not for a great amount of money, but, and again, it's, it's not the amount of money, it's also the support. And it, again, I'm not trying to judge the billionaire. You know, the billionaire is already giving to where, you know, he sets his God leading him. But just the contrast between a billionaire and saying, nope, no thank you, to a, a man who has no income coming in from his own. His wife's working night jobs and odd jobs, and yet they continue to give faithfully. And that's such a lesson to us, isn't it? You know, and, and the, the scripture that I tie that to is Luke chapter 21, verses 1 through 4. Of the widow's offering. As he looked up, Jesus saw the rich putting their gifts into the temple treasury. He also saw a widow put in two small copper coins. I tell you the truth, Jesus said, this widow has given more than all the others. All these people gave out of their wealth, but she out of her poverty put all that she had to live on. The widow's offering, Luke chapter 24, 21, verses 1 through 4. Again, that, that giving, you know, giving, and it's one of the greatest gifts that God has given us, the ability to give, give back our time, our talent, our treasure, and our touch. And Father, thank you for the lessons that you teach us through everyday life. You, you do use off-the-shelf technology to teach us biblical truths. In Jesus' name, Father, amen.